You What's need the, a clicker for a wink. How about upstairs? What's the video called? <laughs> Oh, I don't have a name for it. No, oh, we don't have a name for it. New Age Talk. Take one. Take one. Boom. Today I want to talk to you about work. Your work. My work. But not your profession. What you do for work. You know, throughout the human history, people have associated words like tough, hard, stressful. You know, some researchers have been done and, and these are the words that people come out with when they think about work. It's it's meaningless, it's boring. <laughs> and I, I remember when I had my first job, the first type of work that I did, I was a computer technician. You remember those? Like we would open these big computers and I would be connecting cables and mother motherboards. I don't even know what that is anymore. So that was my first job. I hated it, I hated it. I think I was 16, 17. My dad actually got me that job with um, one of his friends and can you believe that I, I had to have a break? Like people, when they go to work, people have a break in the middle of the day so they can break away from what they're doing. I just, that just doesn't get into my mind. And it wasn't until I started speaking for a living that I realized that I could do something with my gifts that would reward me. And that's when I started to see the difference between work and what I call today art. But before we go there, I want to remind you of this um, story. It's one of the first, as a matter of fact, it is the first story ever told in this book. I love this book. It's in the first story ever told, there's a story of two characters, Adam and Eve. And, you know, God, this, this figure gives them this responsibility to take care of this garden. And he gives them one order, like, do not go there. And, and they do. And because of their disobedience, God punishes them. And believe it or not, what's the punishment? God says, you're gonna have to work and work really hard to earn your living. And maybe that's where the expression hard work comes from, I don't know. Uh, and maybe that's why people have such a hard time trying to balance, you know, work life and personal life. Balance gives me this vibe of average, like, forgive me the word, but mediocrity. You know, if, if Every area of my life could be graded from zero to 10. If I say, you know, I have a balanced life, it's like I have a five on each area. I don't want a five, I want a 10, man. I want a 10 in all areas, you know? And I, I don't like the idea of balance. I think the alternative is when we start to think we were created to create. That's it, we were created to create. It's, there is a difference between work and art. You know, work is, it has to do with executing tasks. Like you're giving something to do and you swap your time for money and you do that every day <laughs> with lots of hopes. But art, art is, is something that you do with purpose, with passion. You know, this for me, this is art. I see everything that I do as art. It's, it's something that you do that brings meaning to life. God is an artist. In the beginning, the first story says, that he created everything by the power of his words, which is so weird. Like I, I, I can't really understand that properly, but the Bible has an expression that it's actually a Latin expression called ex nihilo. Uh, theologians will call that to create something out of nothing. And people will go like, oh, that's impossible, that's impossible. You know, I, I don't think so, because I think you create something out of nothing. You know, that's <laughs> our thoughts. Our thoughts, they don't, they don't exist. They're in your mind, they're in my mind. Until they manifest, some people use their word, manifest. You know, we create something out of nothing with our thoughts. Maybe that's why the philosopher Descartes said, we think, therefore we exist. That's the whole idea. And that story, the first story ever told when men disobeyed and they were punishment, or they were punished with hard work, uh, that first story, also tells me something that's mesmerizing. It's, it's a contrast between God's punishment as work and the original idea that we were created to create. Because the text says that we were created according to His image. Wow, that's like, I, I don't know what His image looks like, but the text tells me that I'm created according to His image. And that carries a lot of weight because that tells me that I'm, I have an intrinsic desire to create. I have this creativity inside of me. And, and if you think about it, like the word creativity, 
Look at this. Create an activity. It's the activity to create. We are all very creative people because we create. To create is to bring life to something out of nothing. It's almost like we, if you tap into that creativity and if you understand that you were created to create, you, you become the architect of your own life. Oh, that's deep. <laughs> the architect of your own life. The designer of your destiny. Maybe, maybe I should preach about that. The designer of your destiny. No. <laughs> your art is your mark. The only way we leave a legacy, the only way we leave a mark in the world is not by the menial tasks that we do every day. No one's going to remember what you did for work. But people will remember what you have created. That's your power to influence the world around you. And I don't, I don't, I don't really care how big the world around you is, 8 billion or 8 people, your family or your friends, it doesn't really matter. Your art is how you influence the world. Now, my invitation to you today is that we somehow we can finish this with the challenge to redefine our relationship with work. I don't want you to go to work anymore. <laughs> I want you to think about this. Everything you do, if you're an engineer, you're a teacher, your profession, we started this video talking about your profession. If you can think that everything you do, you do as a presentation. It's a presentation. Remember your school times? It's a presentation. Everything you do, every task, every job, every challenge, every goal, every activity is a presentation. And you're presenting that to the original creator, to the designer of all, the greatest designer of all. You're presenting that. And that's, you know, funny enough, the Bible says that. Jesus says, you know, everything you do, you do as unto the Lord. That's the idea. If you do that, you will be so much more fulfilled. And you will finally realize that you are created to create, that you are designed to design. You can design your own happiness, your own fulfillment. God is an artist. You are his image. You are an artist. So you should live as an artist. You should live your art. So that's it. You go on and inspire people with your art. I hope this has inspired you and you, you, you've taken some value out of it. And, I don't really like asking people to do stuff, but you know, if this has spoken to you, maybe you want to share this with some friends. Just click the button there, share with some friends. And if you if you want to know more about the things that, that I do, that we do, there's a link in the description of this video that you can just click there and you subscribe to a little mail list and we'll send you some free stuff every now and again. That's it. Thanks for watching.